Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my Grammy's recipe for Gurma. Now, I already shared this recipe on my channel for a small batch that you could just make at home. This recipe right here is for a large batch of Gurma, so if you ever needed to make a large quantity, this recipe is for you. Alright guys, so what you're going to want to do to start making your Gurma is get some mangoes that have just turned ripe. These are the perfect mangoes to use because if they're overripe, they will be too soft and fall apart. What you're going to want to do is chop them up really well. Make sure you get them into the chunks that you want and then what you're going to do is peel them and remove the seeds and the membrane. After you peel all of your mangoes and remove their membrane from the middle, you're going to wash them. Once you finish chopping, peeling and washing all of your mangoes, it's time to go ahead and prepare the seasonings or the spices that will go into your gurma. So to begin with, in my pan here we have some anise seeds and they basically give a nice little licorice flavor and they're parching on the heat here. As usual, all of the proper ingredients and measurements will be down in the description box below, so if you need to know exactly how much of each ingredient to put in, check out the description box down below. So my anise seeds are parching on the heat here, and they've been on the heat for about 15 minutes now. They've been on a medium, medium high heat. Once you see that they start to smoke up and they turn this really dark brown color from what they were in the beginning, it's time to take them off the heat and we're going to go ahead and start to grind them. So as you guys can see, since I'm making this with Grammy today, she likes to do it the old school way. So after those anise seeds were parched really well and they got a nice dark brown color, she dumped them out onto her cutting board and she's going over them with her belna or her rolling pin now. You want to make sure to go over it as many times until it gets to a nice fine powder. Some people during this step, they like their anise seeds to be a little chunkier than others. We like it on the pretty fine side. So we're going to continue doing this and then I'll show you guys what to do next. Alright guys, so once you finish prepping your mangoes and the anise seeds, all of your hard work is done. It's time to just put the dish together. So in a very heavy bottom pot, we pulled out one of the really big karahis today. We heated up a good amount of oil since it's a large batch of mangoes for the gurma. And we added the oil in, allowed it to heat up and added in some cumin or jeera seeds. And you're going to allow them to get very dark almost to the point where they're a little black. And at this point, Grammy is adding in a mixture of cinnamon, those parched anise seeds, as well as some masala. Now, once you add the spice mixture into the pot, you're literally just going to stir it up for about one minute. And then as soon as that minute is over, you're going to go in with your prepared mangoes. Remember, these are the ones that we chopped, peeled, took out the seed from, took out the membrane, and then we wash them. So once you add the mangoes into the pot and you stir it up really well, it's time to allow the mangoes to almost bunje for a little bit in all of those spices so this way they can really soak up all of that flavor. Now as you're mixing it up, if you realize that it's not as dark as you would like it to be, feel free to go ahead and ingest the cinnamon or the anise seeds. Now as you guys can see, Grammy just added in a little bit more cinnamon. The cinnamon is what really gives it that dark color. So if it needs to be darker, go ahead and sprinkle on some more cinnamon and it'll be fine. Now once you allow those mangoes to bunje a little bit with the spices for about like 5 minutes on a medium heat, you're going to go in and add your sugar. Now we like to use this brown Demerara cane sugar. If you wanted to, you could use any type of brown sugar because I feel like that gives the best color to the dish. And once you add this in, you're going to stir it up and you're going to allow it to cook for about a minute or two. So once you stir up all of the sugar and it melts down, what you're going to do is add in a few cinnamon sticks into the mango mixture. And then what you're going to do is cover this mixture with water. You're going to cover the pot and allow it to cook on a medium, medium low heat for about an hour or two until your mangoes are done cooking. All right, guys, so it's been about an hour and a half and our gurma is finally done. As you guys can see, most of the mangoes have cooked down really well, but some of them are still intact. You do not want to overcook it to the point where they just fall apart, but you also want to make sure they're soft enough so when people eat it, it will be enjoyable. So it's a perfect color, the perfect taste, and it is ready to serve. And of course, since this is gurma, you're going to want to go ahead and get your puri or your oil roti or your dosti roti ready to go ahead and eat it with. That is the, the classic pairing that you would serve with gurma. So the gurma that you saw that Grammy and I made was when I was in New York and it's my mom's favorite dessert. So she requested us to freeze some and for me to bring it back home to her in Florida. So we're heating up a little bit that we had taken out of the freezer and my mom is getting ready to try it. And I also have a little bit of oil roti that I made on the side. You could serve this with either puri, the oil roti, or even just eat it with a spoon. All right guys, so here is the finished product. The gurma is all done. So my mom's gonna go ahead and give it a try. Remember, I'm not a fan of mangoes, but everybody else seems to love them. <laughs> Once you have a little bit of roti or some puri, anything goes well with this. And of course, this is Grammy's gurma that she made, so of course it's gonna be good. It is, delicious. All right, mom, what can these viewers do? 
Give the video a big thumbs up. Give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And leave a comment in the box below. Alright guys, I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye.